Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to No Limits Wrestling and still to come tonight the World Heavyweight Champion AJ Styles is set to go one on one with the chosen one Drew Galloway. Earlier tonight AJ Styles was apparently peeping in on my conversation about potentially crowning a new number one contender so he's going to have to prove as champion tonight what he can do in the toughest of situations considering he's coming off of Hell in a Cell last night against The Undertaker what condition is he going to be in? We'll find out later tonight, but coming up next, your Intercontinental Champion is in action. He is the Intercontinental Champion. He has a golden ticket to the world title. This is the Demon. This is Finn Balor. Ever since WrestleMania, where he put on a great showing in the main event, of course, as we all know, tonight he is set to do battle with another young stallion here in NLW, that being Seth Rollins, the architect. And well, he is Intercontinental Champion, and as we know, he can cash that title in any time he wants for a World Heavyweight title matchup. That's the beauty of the Intercontinental Championship. However, this right here is a man who is looking for redemption after what happened at Revenge. At Revenge, Seth Rollins beat up Drew Galloway to the point where we thought Drew Galloway was injured. However, Galloway made a valiant comeback, hit a pole driver of all things, and then hit the few shot DDT, and then, of course, Claymore kick for the win, right to the back of his head. And you gotta believe that Seth Rollins is feeling that here tonight. How is that gonna play into his psyche? Heading into this matchup, it's gonna hinder him? The fact that he lost to Drew Galloway last night, or is it only going to help him succeed trying to get redemption from that loss last night? Well, at the moment, he's shown his vicious side, and he's taken out his frustration all over the Intercontinental Champion, Finn Balor. And now he's going to whip him into the ropes, is he? But Balor hangs on, and that's the way of all Balor, and there you see again. Kick him in the face, and there's that drop kick to Seth Rollins. And, of course, he was the architect of the NWO when they were in control of NLW. However, of course, now he's on his own. Hasn't really found his footing. Had a great victory against Triple H the night after WrestleMania. And since then, it's been questioned if he's actually the one behind the hit and run assault on Triple H. Of course, that in investigation is still ongoing, of course. But at the moment, that is not on Seth Rollins' mind. What is on his mind is that drop kick right to the corner. In fact, the barricade no nonetheless, and there's no give whatsoever there. And Rollins going to have to get back into the contest, and he does. Tries to get him with that knee, catches him out, and then throws him right into the barricade, and again, face first into the steel post, and that is the kind of thing that is going to cause you concussions. Rollins now, he has to stay on him, and he does with that knee drop. And Balor, that quickness, is going to come into play, but again, when you're facing a man like Seth Rollins, who's as quick as they come, He's as fast as a feline, and, well, Bala hangs onto the ropes and kicks him in the face. And now Bala may already be going for that coup de grace to put it away. But I don't think that Seth Rollins is knocked down or incapacitated quite enough. As you can see there, hooks the leg and sends him off the top rope, crashing to the mat below. And after he hits the canvas, there is a boot right to the spine. And that's going to do a number on your back, and that may hinder that coup de grace that throws him away. But here's the sling blade right back at him. And as I said about Seth Rollins, you can say anything you like about his attitude in that ring. However, technically, he's one of the best there is. But at the moment, gets caught out with a victory roll, but kicks out. And Balor almost had him. And now Balor trying to mount a comeback, punches him in the face. Rollins up against the ropes, groggy, rings the arm though, and kicks him in the stomach. Oh no. And now he's going to go for that pedigree. That move that he stole from Triple H after he beat him several weeks ago. And now, oh my god, that buckle bomb. And Rollins wants to put him away. On oh, the sling blade by Bala. Seemingly unfazed, but of course, you can see him holding his back there. That has to do a number on your back. And we know that Seth Rollins has injured numerous men with that buckle bomb. Many called it for it to be banned, but Bala is still fighting in this matchup. There's that Pele kick to Seth Rollins' head. And that buckle bomb may be showing some effects that we're not clearly seeing at the moment. But Rollins goes to the clothesline, dumps over, and now lands on his feet. And 
and goes for that kick again, but again he's held by the neck. A paroxysm! That high neck breaker that drops him on the back of his neck. And Rollins is in a world of pain at the moment. He's down, it seems. And Balor's on the top. Balor's going to go for that coup de grace to put it away. Oh, but Rollins moves that. Oh, hang on. Breath. 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 And Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins had his foot on the rope. And I don't believe that the referee saw that. And Finn Balor, look at him in the ring. He's definitely PO'd. And you can see Seth Rollins celebrating this victory. However, obviously there's going to be questions asked of the referee decision. Maybe I'm seeing things. Who knows? But this paroxysm was the move that almost won it for Balor. And he looked to put it away for good with the coup de grace. But Seth Rollins, give credit to it. He moved out of the way. But there you go. There you see it. He's using his feet on the ropes for leverage. And that's clearly an illegal maneuver. And that means that Seth Rollins has gotten a victory over the Intercontinental Champion. Rollins, we questioned how he was going to bounce back after his loss to Drew Galloway at Revenge. And well, questions answered. He did so tonight with a huge victory. Balor, yes, he's still IC Champion. And he's still in line for a world title matchup anytime he wants. But Rollins perhaps going to feel that he's entitled to that. And there's a lot of controversy surrounding this matchup. But the result on paper is going to be that Seth Rollins won. However, the asterisk is going to be that he had his feet on the ropes to do so. The referee didn't see it. Oh, my God. Not them. That's the former commissioner and his lawyer, JBL. And we know a new commissioner is scheduled to be announced for later tonight. But I don't know what the heck. What? What? Oh, my God. That's, that's Brock Lesnar. And that's AJ Styles. What? Les has been laid out. What the hell is AJ Styles doing back there? Brock's unconscious. I mean, I was flirting with the idea that Brock Lesnar could be number one contender, but apparently AJ Styles has taken it into his own hands to take out his own competition. Well, you want to talk about competition, we'll get an update on Brock Lesnar as we get one. Hopefully we do. But nevertheless, we've got to shift our focus now to this man, the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. And last week, right here on this program, he defeated Drew Galloway in a street fight, with the help of Seth Rollins, of course. And then, once Drew Galloway had been beaten down sufficiently, Angle sought himself to injure Drew Galloway. That's not the sportsmanlike conduct that you see in the Olympics, folks. And well, a man who had a problem with that was Batista. Batista came down, confronted Angle last week, but what's he got to say about that tonight? Now recently, I've been hearing a lot of talk about Batista. No idea why. What the hell has he done in this company to deserve all this hype and circumstance? Next to nothing. Last week, he came out after my match, interfering in my business, which he had no right to do, and decided to try and pick a fight with me, the Olympic gold medalist Kurt freaking Angle. Uh-uh, I don't think so. You see, Batista normally I would laugh in your face, however this time I was a little more apprehensive. He caught me off guard. But the fact that people are calling you the baddest animal in No Limits Wrestling, they should be calling me that! Me! Kurt freaking Angle! Let me ask you a couple of questions. Is Batista undefeated in NLW? Hell no. Has Batista been a world champion everywhere he's travelled? Uh-uh. Did Batista win an Olympic gold medal with a broken freaking neck? Uh-uh! I don't think so. So the fact that all the talk, all the hype, is surrounding Batista, it makes me sick and I'm disgusted. What the hell has Batista done to deserve any recognition of any kind? Nothing. Did I mention I won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck? I'm going to keep mentioning it until you give me the damn respect that I deserve. Let me give you a list of names that I've beaten to show you what you're up against, Batista. Hey, you people can shut your mouths until I'm finished. I've beaten John Cena, Mr. Anderson, CM Punk, AJ Styles, Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, Finn Balor, Drew Galloway, the list goes on and on and on. And when I'm finished with you, if you have the guts to step in the ring with me, your name is getting added to the list, pal. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Well, I think Batista may be taking him up on his offer. Batista calling his bluff. And Kurt Angle looks none too pleased that the animal Batista has arrived. And last week, Batista 
came out after Kurt Angle's match to save Drew Galloway. He got in his face like a man. However, Angle wanted no part of Batista on that occasion, and he ran away. That's the eyes of Batista seeing that. However, Kurt Angle will give you another excuse. I don't know what he'll come up with. However, Batista has made his intentions clear. He wants Kurt Angle. He wants to beat Kurt Angle. Angle's unbeaten in NLW, and Batista standing in the room with him now. I'm telling you right now, don't you ever, ever talk smack about me when I'm not here face to face with you. Matter of fact, don't bother at all. And if you don't have any respect for me, I have no problem beating it out of you. Do you understand me? Now you're right. I'm not undefeated here in No Limits Wrestling. But the victory over you, I might as well be. The reason I came out to face you like a man last week was because I'm sick and tired of you taking cheap shots at people who can't defend themselves. Well, look at me. I'm a freaking animal. I will tear you up and spit you out. The animal isn't a nickname, it is what I am, and when I am unleashed, I will unleash fury upon your very body. Oh, it's true, it's damn true, and if you want to take me lightly, by all means, go ahead. This facade that you're not scared of me, I can see right through it. Because I'm challenging you right now to a match at Unchained, and I know you're going to accept, because you need to prove yourself. Despite the fact that you've beaten everybody, you have to maintain that lofty standard. And I don't think you're up to the challenge of me. So the chit chat can continue. But when you lock eyes with me at Unchained, this animal is going to end your unbeaten run here in this company. I guarantee it, Kurt. I see what you've got. Batista is certainly confident. And he has laid down a major, major challenge the way of Kurt Angle. I don't think Angle was actually expecting Batista to come out here. That's a bit naive if you ask me, but Batista got right in his face for a second week in a row. And I'll tell you what, Angle may not be happy about it, but I'm sure he's going to bring his A-game at Unchained. That is if the match is happening. I assume it is. Angle seems up to the challenge. Batista's certainly ready for it. Can Batista become the first man to beat Kurt Angle in NLW at Unchained? We're going to find out soon enough. I'm sure of it. And well, oh, there you go. There's the world champion. Hell of a match, held in the cell last night, but tonight already beaten up Brock Lesnar, a potential contender, and he's meant to go one-on-one -on -one with Drew Galloway. Oh my god, not again. It is gonna keep doing this. I found a newfound respect for AJ last night. However, Hell in the Cell hasn't taught him respect. If anything, it's taught him to be an evil, ruthless SOB, and I'm telling you what, that is a dangerous man. AJ Styles is your world champion, and if he's going to continue to assault members of the roster, everybody's going to... Oh, look at that. Mocking Brock Lesnar. Well, he's scheduled to go one-on-one -on -one with Drew Galloway. That's up next, but is Galloway going to be able to compete? There's only so much the human body can endure before a fighter must reach their breaking point. For some, that breaking point doesn't exist. When you unleash that beast, that fit of rage inside you that makes you forget all your senses, all your surroundings and go full throttle at the person standing in your way. Once that caged beast is unleashed, it's near impossible to stop them. Hooks, chains, steel, it isn't enough to contain this kind of ferocity. These fighters, when unchained, go in for the kill. No Limits Wrestling presents Unchained live on pay-per-view. Unchained is coming soon, and we don't know what the number one contender is going to be. AJ Styles would hope that nobody is going to be number one contender. Judging by the way he assaulted Brock Lesnar and his opponent tonight, Drew Galloway, in the backstage. And we don't even know if Galloway is going to be able to compete here tonight in this scheduled match up against AJ Styles. But his music's hit, and I can see that AJ Styles in the ring is confused. He thinks he's taken out Galloway, and look at him here. He looks like he's in no condition to compete, but AJ saying bring it on. But Galloway, not going to let that face him whatsoever, beats him up. And although AJ Styles was in a hell in a cell last night, he tried to make sure that he made Galloway feel as bad as he feels here tonight. And Galloway, a huge opportunity here against the weakened NLW champion. However, AJ Styles trying to get a measure of revenge in the terms of, you know, grabbing onto... Galloway and beating him up in the backstage and you can see there trying to stamp him out and what a punch by Galloway the man from Air Scotland knows how to brawl but there's AJ Styles 
World Champion with a Hurricane Rana and follows it up with a drop kick right to the face of Galloway and he's rolling to the outside and he's on a wave of momentum after beating Seth Rollins at Revenge and of course AJ Styles as we know inside Hell in the Cell defeated The Undertaker and well not showing any effects of that matchup at the moment and that just goes to show you how resilient he is what a knee right to Drew Galloway's face and throws him back into the ring and if Galloway wasn't taken out by AJ at the start of this matchup you gotta believe he'd be dominating at this point but AJ Styles taking advantage of the circumstances with that forearm on the canvas and that was followed by a nasty look he gave him and look at AJ Styles mocking Brock Lesnar no remorse whatsoever but Galloway trying to fight back into it and there you go again ringing the arm into the canvas and Galloway holding his stomach obviously still feeling the effects of being beaten up earlier and going for the Irish whip AJ blocks it and here's a Pele instead and now that arm drag trying to take Galloway down Galloway in a world of pain at the moment and look at AJ baseball slide and Galloway goes to the outside and what do you suppose AJ's planning now he's certainly more ruthless after Hell in a Cell it's changed him and that was evident when he attacked Brock Lesnar earlier tonight and also when he attacked Drew Galloway there was that moonsault from the apron and the net breaker no give whatsoever on the outside there for Galloway's sake he wants to keep it in the ring and well Styles trying to not show any effects of last night but at the moment gets clotheslined out of his boots by Galloway and this is the opportunity that Galloway needs this is the kind of thing he was lacking against Seth Rollins he managed to beat Seth Rollins last night using manoeuvres like this that tilt well to the world champion and a win over the world champion sets you in good stride heading into Unchained and maybe potentially gets you a world title matchup at that event the thing he's got to do is he's got to impress the new commissioner whoever that is starts going for that phenomenal forearm but Galloway moves out of the way and looking for that claymore but gets his foot caught on the top turnbuckle and that is going to strain your hamstring certainly is and now he's going for that Stars clash maybe but Galloway back drops him over but Stars hangs on and now we know what Stars are going to do here phenomenal forearm but a kick out by Galloway Galloway you can say what you like about him but one thing that is used to describe him a lot is resilient but Styles at the moment doesn't care about that going for him for the kill went for the super kick but gets hit with a future shock future shock DDT and Styles is in trouble Styles look at him still holding his face and now going for that claymore but there's a super kick by Styles and just like that Styles takes advantage of the situation present Oh, but now Stars looking for the Stars Clash. And oh no. And what the hell's this? Well, look who it is. AJ, mate. Here comes the pain. And while AJ Styles may have assaulted Brock Lesnar earlier tonight after he heard he was a potential number one contender. Oh, good grief. One, From out of nowhere. Two, Claymore kick. Three. And Galloway wins. Galloway picking up the victory over the world champion and this this is huge and Brock Lesnar looking into the eyes of AJ Styles looking into the eyes of the man who took him out earlier tonight and Lesnar getting a measure of revenge but what about Galloway picking up a 1-2-3 pinfall victory over the world heavyweight champion and despite the interference from Lesnar that has certainly got to impress the new commissioner. You can see Styles following that super kick was looking for the Styles clash, but Lesnar came out, distracts him. Lesnar was making Styles petrified in the middle of that ring. But then Galloway takes advantage with the Claymore kick and the 1 2 3 for the victory. Well, Lesnar is still looking at Styles, and Styles cannot believe what's going on. But look at Lesnar! Invades the ring and hits the F5 onto the world champion. Lesnar is not done by a long shot with the world champion AJ Styles and Galloway can see 
Yes, he's beaten the world champion. But Lesnar's saying, look at the damage I've done. I can just as easily do that to you. And this entire world title situation is up in the air at the moment. And coming up next, another matchup which could be vital to becoming the one contender. It's CM Punk versus Jeff Hardy. Punk trying to rebound from a loss to Lesnar. Hardy on a roll after beating Michaels. There you go, one on one. And that is in our next part. Don't miss it.